All right, so I'm actually very excited for this video here. This is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Hasbro Pulse exclusive Mojo World box set with Mojo, Longshot, and Dazzler, and also a little mini Wolverine in there. But this is exciting because I just recently got the deluxe release of Mojo, and I really want to compare the two Mojos because I believe there's a difference in the paint deco. So we're really going to focus on that and, of course, Longshot and Dazzler more so than Mojo itself. Mojo is just going to be a comparison because we already did a whole video on Mojo on the deluxe release. And for the sake of the length of this video, I don't want to go through Mojo all over again. Only the differences, of course. So... Here's the front of the box. I cannot even fit it in frame. It's bigger than the box of the Deluxe Mojo by a little bit, but it is bigger. And you can see here that it is meant to recreate a old TV from back in the day with the dials for the volume and the channels or whatever. I don't know. I wasn't even born when TVs like this existed. So, yeah. All right, so here is the backside, which is also really cool looking. I love this. This is what I have been kind of wanting from the windowless packaging is give us some art like this. Give us some comic book type read-ups or panels or whatever. We also get the digital renders of all the figures that are included. They're calling this a four-pack. I'm calling it a three-pack. Come on, you can't, you cannot count this Wolverine as a figure. It's not a four-pack. It's a three-pack with, this is an accessory. Come on. So Mojo is in pieces, of course, just like the deluxe release, it comes like a build-a-figure, you gotta build them together. So 100% without a doubt, this is a different paint deco than your deluxe single release of Mojo. There's actually a lot of added on paint details that are not included in the regular solo release. Take a look at that, but you can just see it already. The color of the skin is already a different tone of yellow than the regular release, and we also get a lot of spots, a lot of details, on the actual belly, the torso around his neck and his shoulders all over. It's just completely different paint deco and colors overall. All right, so here are the two head sculpts next to each other. The left side is the single release. The right side is Mojo World box set. You can see the yellows are different. We can see that the pink shadow that the regular release has is not present on this one, but we do get a darker brown shadow around there. And what really caught my attention is the detail on the wiring on the head is actually painted on the Mojo World set. You can see blue, red, some blue there, all the way to the back end right there, while the regular release is not painted at all. It's just wires there. But for the head sculpts, those are the differences. Now here's a look at the hand. You can see that the hand even has spots on the Mojo World and the hand on the Mojo World one has painted nails. While the regular release, they did not paint it at all. So it is lacking some paint, although we do get some of that pink shading on there. It's not as detailed as the Mojo World set. Alright, so here is Mojo completely put together. He is still as difficult to put together as the regular deluxe set. Uh, that thing is so hard. I had to heat up the torso to get it into the belly. Just a very tight, tight fit, which is good because once it's in there, you don't have to uh, worry about falling off or looseness or anything like that. So I prefer that, but it's just sometimes it's a little frustrating. The head scope was also hard to get onto the ball joint. I uh, had to really, really push hard on that and... I mean, my hands hurt, but it is what it is. So you can see here, the arm has all those spots. All of these spots are not present in the regular release. Uh, we get brown shading rather than pink under the boobs, under the belly, under the armpits. Uh, we have spots on the arm, spots on the hands. Uh, and then you can probably already start seeing some of the added on detail on the box set that it is not present on the regular release. All this wiring, uh, we have colored wiring, which is not present on the regular release. You can even see some on the backside that is unpainted on the regular release. We've got some red wires there, all of this. Yeah, of course, I did show you the head. And then on the back seat i did take off the top pillar but we have more wiring that are painted on there so that is unpainted on the regular release just overall more detail it looks more alive it looks more just it, it looks nicer for sure now these lights here are painted even these side ones are painted on the regular release but all these wires are not painted on the regular release now can you guess how many times i've said regular release <laughs> but here is the regular release and you can see here unpainted wiring on the back, unpainted on the side, on his body, on his head, uh, and you can see no spots on the belly at all. It's hard to get these two massive mojos in frame and try to get you guys a close shot so I can just kind of move one in and move one out so you can see there. So 
some of the lights down on this back side is unpainted like these two here are unpainted while they are painted on the mojo world again very difficult to get them both totally in frame so bear with me but here you can get a pretty good idea of them side by side next to each other overall pretty big difference and it might sway some people to uh buy one over the other but some people might be okay with the regular release and just save a lot of money and just get mojo if that's all they're looking for now personally for me i think i'm gonna lean towards the mojo world set because it's just more detailed how, how do you not want more detail right just the wiring painted alone adds in so much more detail it makes it more lifelike more lights lit up and then i love all the spots and detail on the belly on the on his entire body i guess you should say um this one just seems a little a little bland now that i have him next to this version, it, you know, details go a long way for sure. All right, so this windowless unboxing experience was actually a little more fun than usual because we have some boxes within boxes and it's pretty creative what they did here. Since the whole box is a TV, then we got a remote as a box here for, I believe it's Dazzler because we have a sticker of Dazzler on the back side right there. And then this is a MW guide, which would normally be a TV guide. Uh, so it's a Mojo World guide. You can see on the side here, the spine and then on the back side you see that uh, we have long shot and wolverine although wolverine was packed in separately not within there so here he is so we'll put them onto the side here and get these two unboxed all right so here we have them out of their boxes and they all look wonderful i gotta say long shot is on a new body mode which is being reused for the robbie reyes ghost rider has lab that may not see the light of day things aren't looking too hot as of right now no pun intended but here we have dazzler which is a new design version of her and i actually uh, don't have any of the previous dazzler so this is perfect i finally have a dazzler back in the collection and i really like this look here and then wolverine i still consider it an accessory this is not an action figure uh pretty cool though because i think wolverine gets thrown into the tv world or mojo world and he looks like this so it's pretty nice but I, like i said in the beginning of the video don't consider it an action figure i consider this a three pack rather than a four pack but still cool nonetheless to have this wolverine now dazzler comes with these super brand new never before seen effects just kidding these are the old old molds of effects and they're just repainted i like the repaint on them the you know the pink and the turquoise or the green and the yellow looks cool but again these are the older older ones and i just want to see some newer uh, effects being made like the proton cannon iron man that came with two brand new effects she also does come with open hands here so we have a left and a right and the figure itself as you can see her has a pair of fists as for long shot we have a fist on the right hand and a left fist that has some blades here molded in and you can swap these out for of course we have a right grabby hand and this is to grab his knife that he comes with he does come with this knife has a painted grip there you go pretty dope and then we have an open left hand so you don't get a fist for the left hand but you do get an open hand uh, you can see the three fingers right there or the four fingers if you count the thumb so here's a closer look at long shot you can check out his portrait looks very very good i must say the hair the mullet all looking on point we have this little harness around his torso with some silver paint all around and then here you can see we do get double jointed pinless elbows along with pinless knees brand new mold really really liking it the boots little silver paint there for the little button we have a sheath for his knife small little detail over there with the paint job i love that they painted the buckle and the buttons all over pretty cool and then here is the back side and as for dazzler she has a very dazzling face sculpt the hair sculpt is also pretty damn nice too i really like that and you can see she is on that newer updated female body mold with the pinless double elbows and the bicep swivel as well as the pinless double knees there in terms of paint we have the star painted on her torso also on her leg and we've got the red band around the other leg and the forearm here the skin tone is actually painted on a blue mold and it's actually clean for once i'm liking that i mean we have a little scrape there on the, on the back side but nothing crazy and not the worst i've seen you know hopefully that gets cleared out i feel like their quality is getting a little bit better in terms of paint chipping 
or maybe I'm just getting luckier. But really the highlight of this figure is this awesome face sculpt. I think the printing came out super nice on this. And I love that little headband there around her forehead. And here's a closer look at the Wolverine. You can see it's all static. It's basically just a statue and he does need this base here to stand. He will not stand without it. He has a peg hole on the back for whatever reason. Doesn't come with anything to put in there unless I'm missing something. Uh, but that's about it. His head does turn. It's on a ball joint. So you can look up, you can look down, and you can swivel left and right, but that's about it. All right, so for a long shot, his head will move up. It's on a ball-jointed hinge, but of course, keep in mind that that luscious uh, mullet he's got on is going to get in the way. Uh, he looks down quite a bit, left and right, and he does head tilt. We have the arms going forward all the way around. Uh, they go in and out. We have a bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows there. Swivel at the wrist with a regular hinge on the right hand and also on the left hand there. Uh, we have an ab crunch at the torso, a waist swivel. Legs will kick forward pretty well and they go back down. They go in and out about this far. There is a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, pretty smooth here. And then there is a boot cut shin swivel, very nicely placed. Ankle hinge and ankle rocker at the foot. As for Dazzler, we have a head on a ball jointed hinge again that does get hindered because of the hair sculpt. That's okay, it's understandable. Head will look all the way down, uh, left and right, and some head tilting there. Arms will go all the way around, forward and back, in and out about this far, very uh, nice extension. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a regular hinge on both hands, diaphragm joint at the torso, forward and back and swivel, no swivel at the waist, legs will kick forward, back down, in and out this far, and we have a thigh swivel, double jointed pinless knees, ankle will hinge forward and back, and they will rock side to side. So regarding their height, long shot stands about six and a half inches tall. Wolverine is about two and a half inches tall, and Dazzler is about six inches, just a tad bit over six inches and under six and a half. And here is a look at them next to the cel shaded Wolverine from the VHS style box. Stacked up next to Mafex, here is the Mafex Jean Grey. And again, coming from the cel shaded uh, wave of VHS style boxes, here is Jubilee. I just reviewed this Spider Man. This is the cel shaded Walmart exclusive retro carded Spidey. And then I'll throw in this Storm. This figure falls over almost every single day because those legs are so crazy gummy. But this is a nice looking Storm, nonetheless. But here she is next to Longshot and Dazzler, and she does stand a little bit taller. Big thanks to the hair, though. And that'll wrap things up on this review of the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Mojo World Box set. Three pack of Dazzler, Longshot, and Mojo with the little mini Wolverine there. Very cool set. I gotta say, this is very nice. But all the figures are really, really dope here. The Longshot is super dope. Once you get it in hand, you'll, you'll see it. But he is getting a regular release. And I don't know, I mean, does that kind of sway you not to get this set now that we have a regular release of Mojo and Longshot? As far as I can see, looking at the promo images of that regular release Longshot, he does have some different paint apps and even an extra accessory. So he does come with a little satchel that you can put around his shoulder. And the star or the logo here on his right shoulder is painted yellow. And he does have a yellow star on his eye as well on the regular normal release so it is a different paint deco it is slightly different so if the different face paint is something that may warrant a whole new figure purchase and having two long shots in the collection i don't know that's up to you but this is the first time hasbro is taking a crack at long shot after all these years and it is a nice welcome addition as for dazzler she is the best dazzler right now coming with the double jointed uh, pinless elbows and knees in the bicep swivel she is definitely better than the previous releases. I actually just remembered I do have the retro carded Dazzler but that one's locked away in storage unfortunately. So in the end it's up to you but the price breakdown of this whole set it's $131.99 for the whole set meaning if Mojo is $55.99 long shots $25 let's say Dazzler is $25 that brings us down to $26 going to what? Going to Wolverine? Going to the box? Maybe the paint decos, the extra added paint details is where that money is going, or just for the sake of it being an exclusive item not sold anywhere else. 
in the end, we have an option. We have the option of getting the set or just getting them individually as they release. As of right now, it is unknown if Dazzler will be a single normal release, but it is quite possible. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section below which Mojo is your favorite version. And while you're down there, hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. As always, everyone, take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.